Hey everybody, welcome to Dark 3, or bleh, part 3 of Zack Plays Dark Souls 2 is what I meant to say. So, we're gonna come down here into this big old crypt. You, you back up now. Just get out of here. Uh... Hopefully we're gonna get to see a boss in this video. I, I promise we'll see one no matter what. Whether it be one or the other, because I kind of have some options as to what I can do. But... We will see. So, you can't go in any of those doors. That door that I was just next to, or that one. Um, you have to beat one of the bosses. You can't go in this one for a while. So come down here. And then... I like to do as much damage with my blade as possible. You dick face. Actually... Good. I, I don't really think I need a life gem, but I'd rather be safe than sorry because... There are a lot of enemies in this area coming up. So what you do for this is... Come up here. And I'm not too interested in fighting these guys at the moment. We'll, we'll get back to it. And, you know, maybe they can just kill themselves. Alright. That, that'll fall... That's important to note, is that a giant-ass boulder is gonna run past. <laughs> And it will kill one of the guys in here. But what you do is you come up here and you found the NPC, oh, kill the cartographer. I'm gonna skip like all of his dialogue because he talks really slow and is really boring. But basically, he's gonna give us the key to that mansion that was in Majula. Which is a good thing to have, because uh, it's gonna get us another Estus Flask shard and it might even. Give us, like, some neat weapons. I got the Murakumo from there. But, now we come back out here. I don't think any of the enemies followed us. They're the ones that did died, most likely. But we're gonna come up here. But you can also fast climb ladders in this game. It uses your stamina, but... It's a neat feature. Oh, did not want to get hit. It's alright, though. I should just use my Estus Flasks just to not be stupid about this, I guess, but... Um, let's see. I know there are a lot more enemies down here, so... I do not want to get ambushed. This is one of them, and I think that's one of the ones that'll come up and... Trying to ambush you if you enter from right here. But I'm not gonna do that. Is there anything around here? Nope. I could probably wear all this hollow infantry armor if I wanted. I just, you know, I don't. I don't care. I don't give much of a shit. So, come up here, there's this guy. These guys that have like the sort of better hollow armor, I don't like, they're harder. <laughs> they're definitely tougher to kill. Life gem, we can go down into that house. I figured I was going to take a little bit of damage there, that's okay though. And I saw that there's an item down in here. At least I think I did. Yes. Torch. Not especially valuable, but uh, I guess it's the thought that counts. There are other items in this area, so I'm going to keep looking around. But I think I killed all the enemies, though. So what you do... 
for this is... Oh, almost had it. I don't even know if there's an item up, up in there, actually. There might be. I have never tried. If you come over here, there are, are some items. You see that big armor guy over there? He, uh... That key that I was mentioning, you get, like, midway through the game, the iron key. That'll let you get to that area. But we don't need to do that right now. We also can't do that right now, so that's also really important to note. Uh, let's see. What I'm gonna do here is... I'm gonna come up here and... Oh, I aggroed this guy right away, which I did not mean to do. I can probably backstab this guy, though. Oh, come on. Now, I'm gonna avoid going up that ladder just for this moment. Um, so, what I want to do here, ideally, is... Ah, damn it. I don't, I don't want to be hit with those firebombs. I need to... Actually, I do need to be hit with them just once. I could probably even use the, the fire sword, but... We'll see. Let's see if I can get this guy to hit me. No. He's a bit of a bad thrower. That's annoying. So what I'll do is just kill him. And... It's alright. I don't need to be able to wield it efficiently. I should have used an Essence Blast there. I kind of wasted all my life. Terms. I just need to be able to do that. So... That's the shortcut, and we have enough souls that we're going to go back and level up real quick. Level up. I only think I think I only need to do dexterity once. Yes. Okay. Let me see what souls I have. I might be able to level up again. No, not with that. <laughs> Alright, now I can use the uh, sword effectively. What do I need to use this guy, though? 13. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get that right now. So I guess the question will be, do I fight the Pursuer or do I fight the Giant? I actually didn't know you could get this guy from right here. It's a good question. It's a good thing to know. Glad I figured that out. Alright, so this upcoming area is just a little bit annoying. But the sword is actually gonna do wonders. So there's like an automatic trap in there. There is a better sorcery oh, for us okay. though. Well, so this is mild mannered well, pate. Every time you see an NPC, careful, you should yeah. max out their dialogue. Oh, yeah. um, once they start to repeat themselves, um, that's when you know you've maxed it out. Uh, so what you want to do here? Is I don't even see that one guy. Alright. I'm just gonna use the Estus because we're gonna be able to get back to the bonfire. I'm gonna use this too. There is a uh, hidden treasure in here, or a hidden wall. Hidden walls work a little bit differently in this game.
I'm just gonna bait these guys out here. I don't I don't really want to get gang banged. There's even more of them inside. Alright, maybe I should just take the dagger off because I'm only used to switching back and forth in between two weapons. So you come over here, pick this up. Aromatic use, which applies magic damage to your weapons. Alright, so to activate secret walls in this game, you have to, um... You don't hit them anymore. You press A up against them. Or whatever the A, A... I'm using a 360 controller. Whatever the A equivalent on your controller would be is what you press. I'm just going to take the far guy out because he's a little more annoying. Alright. Now we can open our treasure uninterrupted. Which is actually just a sorcerer staff and something else. And I already have a sorcerer staff and amber herb. I don't remember what those do. I guess I'll find out at some point. There should be a guy right out here too, I think. Maybe not. Let's roll through these crates. Okay, so <clears throat> one of the things that I didn't really show was that uh, the gate closes on you once you get inside there. <laughs> Um, and that is because mild-mannered Pate is an asshole and will lock you in. Well, I hope that brave warrior didn't come across it. Be uh -huh. careful out there. Let's talk about... Yeah, alright. Uh, it'll uh, with luck. He'll give well, you stuff, though, uh, I guess. I mean, he's an asshole. He's, he's a troublemaker. There's another troublemaker just like him in the game. Um, they kind of... Their plots sort of intertwine, I suppose. As soon as you come in here, trap. Those ballista, ballistas, ballista, whatever. Those will launch at you. My recommendation would just sort of be to run around here. And I'm just gonna sword this last guy. Sort of. Ha 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 ha. Large wooden shield or great soul arrow. Okay, great soul arrow was the thing that I mainly. Actually, there's a couple things that I came in here for. Um, that Pharos lockstone that we bought from the Hag merchant. We're gonna use that in here. Now this is a trapped chest. I don't think hitting it does anything to disarm the trap, but it's just a poison trap. So all you have to do is roll out of the way. There's a crossbow trap as well. That one's a little bit harder to avoid, and I have been killed by it before. But, um, on the whole, it's, like, not that bad. I guess if you know what directions it's going to shoot, because it's the same every time, then you should be okay. So, there's a lot of different things that Ferris Lockstones can do. Sometimes they show you where hidden walls are. Sometimes they, um, open up specific things. I mean, it's... Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. The Chloranthi Ring is gonna increase our stamina regeneration. And then I think this is a Titanite Slab in here. Yeah. Definitely won't need that for a while, but, you know, nice to know, I guess, that it's there. We have it, at the very least. So... What we're gonna do in this next area is... I'm not going to run straight for that guy because that would be just a little bit dangerous and silly. Instead, I'm just going to come in here, kill this dude, come back here. I think there's an item behind this guy. Yep. Uh, you'll notice these weird tree giant things all throughout Forest of Fallen Giants. Those are actually dead giants that kind of just like grew into trees as giants are want to do in this game, I suppose, but uh, those will actually become really important later. I'm gonna... I don't really want to use all my sorceries to kill these... Oh, god damn it. 
That sucks. Just a little bit. Is a chest in here? The chest is down there. The item is over there. I want to lock onto that guy. And then there's another guy over here. But what I'm going to do is... Uh, I guess you have to come from over here. Alright, soul of a nameless soldier and a torch. A tretch. And I should be able to plunge attack this guy. Yeah, so the, uh... The shield that I have does not block 100% damage. You actually... You kind of don't get a 100% damage block shield in this game for some time. Mailbreaker, infantry, helm. Do I have another firebomb? Because I could do a lot of damage to that guy if I did. I do not. Okay. So what you do is you should ro ideally roll down into the card. You take the least amount of damage that way. And I'm going to do my best to fight this guy. And his that that downward attack will definitely stagger you a bit. Uh I, I always mess up the timing on that every single time I fight these guys. All in all, not an extremely difficult enemy. Doesn't give a lot of experience either. But this this upcoming part is actually sort of a pain in the ass. Oh man, I may not get to a boss in this video. I might do an extra long video just because the boss is really easy. We'll see. Get out of here, sucker. The problem with this area is that there's quite a few guys that can just kind of like mob you. Alright, now there's going to be stuff up this pathway, so what you do is you come up here, you aggro that guy only to find out that there is another one up there and they'll both drop down at you. And if you're lucky you can kind of lure him around, maybe get him in a one-on-one -on -one type situation. through the fog. Oh wait, there's an item back up there. I'll, let me turn around and get it real quick. Yeah, I'll do this one. I'll do this as an extra long video and I'll just... It's not going to be that much longer, but I'll kill the first boss. I said I would. Soul of a large soldier. Large dead-ass soldier. So when you first come in here... Crystal Lizard! Yeah, Titanite Shard. You can kill that guy. I'm actually... To get to the boss, you just take this lift over here, but I'm gonna go use the bonfire because that seems like the smart thing to do. I'm actually gonna level up, too. So, you come through here, and we're back where we started. And I'm going to go level up real quick, so be right back. Alright, so I'm back from outer space. I was going to pick the video up at the bonfire, and I totally forgot to press the resume button. Um, but all you do is you come to this lift over here. I leveled up my sword twice, too, from the blacksmith, because I had some extra souls left over after leveling up. Uh, so it should do a little bit more damage now. I did forget to add that new spell that we got, though. So... 
Fark. It's not a big deal. Alright, so, uh, just like in the old game, not the old game, the first game, you can summon people to help you on bosses, and I have two options here. That's neat. Um, I wish one of them was a Sunbro option, but it's not. So, guy that I just summoned, you're going to be part of my Let's Play. <laughs> There's mild-mannered Pate, and then there is Metrigaga. Blah blah blah. I I can't say that. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna enter the mist. And normally this seems a little bit inconsiderate, just to like let people um hang around while you watch. Uh, the boss cutscene, but it's okay. He might think I'm a first-time player or something. So this is the last giant. It's the first boss in the game. It, it doesn't have to be. It depend. I kind of skipped over an optional boss fight a little bit earlier, but you'll still fight that boss regardless. Um, so here we have the guy, and he's just like, yeah, he's just a big giant. He's got shit all stuck through him. Should be dead. When he does his foot stamp attacks, those are sort of the best. Oh, okay. I can actually stand back and just sort of soul arrow him. Because Pate and Mega. Sorry, buddy, I can't say your name. Are gonna do a lot of this for me. I've never seen him do that attack. probably should have equipped Great Soul Arrow. Halfway through the boss fight, he'll rip his arm off and uh, use it as a weapon, which I guess is neat. Um, supposedly you can cut the arm off beforehand. I saw that in one of Vati Vidya's videos. Man, it's like a lot of alliteration right there. Anyway, um, I think I see the thing, so this guy can actually kind of like talk to me maybe I don't know or maybe I'm talking to him I have no idea but anyway you you always do a, a war cry type thing when you're done they'll stick around for a minute you should be a gracious host and wave to them and eventually yeah they'll disappear just like that so thanks for that buddy we didn't necessarily need a lot of help on that boss fight as you can tell it was pretty easy but um, so anyway, that's the first boss of Dark Souls 2, so, um, go to places any to end the video, I guess. So, thanks for watching, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, it really helps out, and, uh, I'll catch you next video.